Hi, welcome to Indigo Wings Intuitive. I'm Tina and uh, this reading is going to be what the goddess energy is bringing in to us. So I like working with the goddess energy as they bring a multitude of feelings go. and lots of messages. Sound a bit stuffy today. My app. Now I will say that I am completely rubbish at pronouncing loads of the goddesses' names, so I'm really sorry about that. But yes, let's have a look at this. So the Egyptian goddess. So this situation will be handled in fair and just manner. So we've got the balance here, and we've got some light shining in through. A situation now take what resonates and leave the rest but we've got a feeling here where something's about to bloom into its full and it's coming right it's coming to a head and changing direction for you is also what I feel I also have the protection of the eye around here I've, I've never noticed that before but it's right dangling right underneath her there you see that protective um, eye symbol and the, the fact that you've got lots of lilies blooming and then you've got the doves kind of flourishing and flying and then that light right behind her head coming in and peeking in. So we've got some changes coming in. We've got a fairness of a situation for some of you that's going to right itself and also the feeling of balance. Um, what I've got is the word germinating. So it's obviously coming in for some of you where it feels like it's it's about to grow and energize. It is gaining its energy from the sun and all those vital things that it needs to germinate is what I have. Let's see what else. Oh. Aracura blossom. So I've just said about the uh, lilies blossoming, the flourishing, the coming out. So you are getting started. So have some patience to yourself and the process. Do not give up. So in this we have her, again it feels like she's opening herself up, opening her wings. She's blooming. Universal help. So this, I feel, also is manifestation. So maybe if you're sending your wishes out. Um, I'm sure lately I've been doing readings and, and spirit keep messing with my ear like crazy whenever I do these videos. It's like my ear is constantly popping. And it does it loads when I do start to do record. Um, let's see. So I have the feeling of the solar plexus, we are easing the solar plexus, we are bringing it into abundance and we are settling into our energy and that energy is now being started to be balanced. So going from the last one there where we had some balance, we had the scales, we had Libra, the sign that Libra there which is the balancing sign. Um, I'm almost feeling Virgo with uh, with this as well. So we are looking towards the practical side. Not, although Virgos tend to try and find the perfection in things, this is to let things flourish. So maybe not to kind of like try to be perfect everything, like let things flourish and flow. Let the universe work with you. Let things bloom as we come into the next few weeks or the next few days for some of you. Let's see what we've got. Many more want to come from this deck. Body, bodies of water. Spend time near water, such as a lake, river, 
or ocean to recharge your batteries. Needing some time out, needing to recharge, maybe needing just a breath, um, some self-care, some self-pampering, uh, just to, you don't have to go through, you know, find a lake or do all that lot. You can simply run yourself a lovely bath, have a shower, splash some water on your face, one of the ways to cleanse, so using water as a cleansing agent for your aura, um, a bit like um, when you use smoke you can use water um, the same way, so for instance you can get in the shower and just um, imagine anything that's clinging on to you that you just no longer serves you is draining from the body and going down the plug and the water is refreshing and revitalizing and stimulating um, positive energy around you. So as it's flushing away, it's giving um, the body, oh, that one wanted to um, pop out, it kind of did a, and that one, <laughs> double flip. So we have Siege, it's still doing it. <laughs> siege, uh, quiet time. So take some time to rest, meditate and contemplate. So it could be a time for some of you to just take a moment's breath, like I said before, some self-care, some self-attention is what I'm hearing. Self-attention on the path forward of what you want. Um, and sometimes we overthink things and we want to... Um, what's the word? Just too much chatter, too much chatter going on, and it's incredibly hard because my brain does it too. Um, we overthink things and we over chatter. This is just to quieten what you can, um, and it's it's kind of like just taking a nice breath. You can go for. I've just I literally was saying that while I'm holding this card here. So we have Cordelia, go outside, you have been indoors too long, go outside and get some fresh air. If you're here in the UK, do that, uh, we are getting a bit of a, a winter spell in the next few days. I mean, that can be nice and refreshing on its own, so as long as you're nicely rubbed up, hat and coat and all that lot. Um, but today is like one of the last days where it's quite nice, um, here in the UK anyway. But just going outside it's like i want to sigh i just want to let it all out have that time readjust myself so i can get going again but giving yourself that time to literally just give yourself that moment um oops just fell on the floor now these I've picked up, I can't lean over because I'm heavily pregnant and don't find it that easy to actually lean over and get things easily. But I'll show you, I've got the thing there. So we have the dark goddess here. These were the guidance, uh, goddess guidance orange cards. Maybe I should have started with the dark goddess first. But we want to see if any what they come out okay I am not going to be able to pronounce her name can we see it Era Keshel Gah right coercion so it's like feeling like you are not following your path that you are following somebody else's path or what you think you should do uh, instead of what you need you know need to do for your highest good so it's following a path there of breaking free you see she's got she's quite strong isn't she she's quite powerful she's got her staff she's got some fire behind her which is passion so it's delving into your passion so whilst you've gone through this you're taking your breath your quiet time you are kind of revitalizing yourself recharging your batteries and cleansing your aura you are going to make this stand for yourself. See where you're going next and make sure that you're actually doing it for you. You're actually doing it for yourself. That you know, that you're not being, um, society isn't 
kind of making you feel like you have to do something, a situation, a person, something, or even yourself, you can do it. You need to just sit in quiet time and see where you are at. Are you coercing yourself because you think you should do something? And I know we all do it, but that one feels like we're breaking free. Uh -huh. We have Pandora, one that I can't pronounce. Um, curiosity. So we have, we're letting that out. And now this isn't a bad thing, I think. You know, I mean, Pandora's was quite. But this feels like we are, we are kind of going to go into this celebration of ourselves. And we are releasing this unknown onto ourselves. And it can be a challenge, cause a little bit of upheaval. Um, but I just feel like this is uh, for the betterment of, for you to, in your quiet time, in your cleansing, in your nature, um, to recenter yourself and find the curiosity of your path. Finding the curiosity of where you want to go next. What's the summer hold for you? What's your winter hold for you, wherever you are? Because I know... Um, Australia, for instance, where uh, my sisters in laws live, they are going into a completely different season than us. They are going into autumn winter, whereas a lot of us from this side and the UK and that, we're going into we're into our spring and summer. But where are you centering yourself? What's your needs next? What's what is it that you're you're looking for? But before you get to that. You need that quiet time, you need that revitalisation, you need that cleansing and that self-pampering. Okay, take what resonates and leave the rest and I shall should be here and next time. Thank you for watching, I really do appreciate your likes and subscribes and comments and I shall see you next time. Bye.